Old man! Old man! <laughs> Dreadfully sorry, I didn't hear you there, Wu Tang. <laughs> ah, here, let me help you up. Ah, how can I help you, my son? What? I said, how can I help you, my son? Uh, um, I seek a boon, a wise one. Oh, a boon, excellent. What is this boon that you seek? I, I seek wisdom. I travel far, a wise one. Please, call me Susan. Oh, um... I have travelled far, a wise Susan. Nope, just Susan's fine. Right, yeah, okay, I, I get you. Um, Boon, wisdom, travel far, yes? Tell you what, come, let us make ourselves comfortable by the fire. You can tell me all about this boon that you keep going on about. Please, sit anywhere. Yes, the boon. I have gold and jewels. These tributes I offer you in exchange for your wisdom, O oh Susan. I have no need for such baubles, little one. That I have cattle, sheep, many heads of livestock I'm willing to exchange for your words, Susan. Again, you speak of things I have neither need nor desire for. Look around you. This land provides all the bounty I could ever possibly require. Here, join me in a cup of broth. Yeah, this will revive you after your long journey. Thank you, Susan. <laughs> yes, mulligatoni is an acquired taste, it has to be said. Crisp. <laughs> Thank you, Susan. So you come seeking wisdom. This in itself could be seen as wise. Not by me, obviously, but there are some who would see as such. What is the nature of this wisdom that you seek? Let me tell you my story, old man. Must you? In my land, I am known as Famine Bringer, the heretic of Guar, the true death, the one who will fuck you up, and Bunny Nuzzler. Last one loses a little bit in the translation, I'm led to believe. But my true name is Denzel Washington. I am, or was, in those days now long dead, a warrior god, a stretch from the bright sea of wonderment in the east, to the dark sea of fierce, squishy, yellowish stuff to the west, to the land of weird-looking monkey things in the far, far south. What about the north? Huh? The north? What was in the north? What's in the north? Anyway, throughout that time, I heard stories, whispered tales of a man so wise, so cunning, that legend had it he was begotten of an unholy union betwixt owl and sheep fox. That's supposed to be me. A plan that would see me return triumphant to my own land and regain my rightful place as God King to my people. I, a seeker of truth. Hence the title of the film, yes. What be John Malkovich? I don't get it. You think you're in? Never mind. And then I, as, as a seeker of truth, I would seek out this wise man. Whom you believe to be called John Malkovich? Yes, I, w I, would, I would seek him out and... Oh yeah, I get it now, so I'm the seeker. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's really clever, Mr. Malkovich. Christ. Anyway, I'd seek out this wise man and I'd persuade him to return home to my land to sit at my right hand and ensure that I rule fairly and benevolently. And if Mr. Malkovich declined your kind offer to leave his own land to people? Well, then I'd slice that spinny head clean off his shoulders. Split open his skull and feast on his brains. Well, thus imbibing all of his wisdom and craftiness. Brilliant. A uh, couple of things wrong with that. First, um, I have your sword. Ah, <laughs> but do you really have it? Yes, you idiot. Ah, right. Secondly, and this is almost incidental, but that's not how you gain wisdom. Usually there's a lot more reading involved. Really? Really. 
things. <sighs> Let me impart some wisdom to you, sugar tits. Consider this. It does not matter that you can't remember yesterday, last week, the day before, the month before, the year before. The past has had its chance to mould you, to shape you, to make you the man you are today. Opportunities missed and regretted in the long dark hours of the soul, or else grasped, lifted to the mouth and gorged upon, till the very marrow is drained from them. Oh, and the women you have loved, until you thought you would die for the want of them, or the others thrown aside with disgust and contempt, like the disease-ridden whores they undoubtedly were. Those children held close with pride and love and expectation, then cast away in bitter, rancid disappointment. Battles won, battles lost, the battles that never were. All these things, these memories, are dust. Dander caught in the wind and blown away like a dandelion in summer's clothes. The future is but a child's fever dream. Ominous and promising much, but ultimately of no significance or import when waking in the sweat soaked here and now. No, the present, this moment, this now is all that matters. And the truth now, this day, this hour, this very instant, is... Yes, oh Susan. You're a cunt.